Thank you. Gabriel. Thanks. All right. I'm Jeff King, um, head of Muse School. Everyone do me a favor really quick. Will you please stand up? Thank you. And then as you stand up, um, I've instructed the guys on the back to put the cameras on you. So as the cameras are on you, will you just please do one of these? Okay, you guys really suck at that. Um, you can sit down. All right, I just wanted to make sure that you stayed awake while I was up here for my uh, 10 minutes. I'm only going to talk for about three, and then um, I'd like for you to ask me some questions. Um, the Muse Blueprint. Why the Blueprint? Because when you're doing innovative things and progressive things, parents have institutional memory. And that institutional memory says, my kid is happy. My kid's not stressed. My kid's not doing two and three hours of homework. What is wrong with this school? I'm pulling my kid out and I'm leaving. And so we, and I don't know how old you all are, but I'm somewhat old, we all have grown up with mostly traditional schools where it's like very stressful, depressing, and have, you have a lot of anxiety, and we don't know how to cope with it when our students are not. So the blueprint provides a narrative construct and a template for parents to see why their students are not stressed, happy, and engaged in school. They have five, we have five pillars. I have our website up here so that you, if you wanted to go um, explore it at some point, we've got videos and documentaries and things that will explain it, and so you can check it out. The five pillars of Muse, one is academics. Um, we are a private school, so we wrote all of our own academic curriculum that we call milestones. We don't follow any of our state or national standards. The second one, and Rebecca talked about this earlier, was passion-based learning. All the academic content is wrapped around passions. So we don't have any textbooks. We don't have any canned curriculum. The student says, I want to study, last year this was my favorite, my passion is KISS, you know? Heaven's on fire! Remember that song? No, okay. Um, you guys suck at moving your body, and you do not have very good taste in music. So um, thank God I only have eight more minutes. Um, so we were able to teach math, science, literature, and uh, whatever the other academic content is through KISS. And you can do all that through any passion. The third pillar is self-efficacy. If I could give you an assignment, the assignment would be to Google self-efficacy. It's the number one predictor in your life and in everyone's life. Over IQ, it's over what school you went to, over your GPA. My belief in my capabilities. And at Muse, we define that as my belief in my capabilities to access my open and resourceful and persistent skill sets. The third one, or the fourth one, is uh, the process communication model. We call it communication. The process communication model is the communication model that Bill Clinton used uh, when he ran for president. It was used at NASA for over 30 years. It still is. But basically, it teaches students how to assess, connect, motivate, and resolve conflict. And it also personalizes and individualizes your learning environment. Um, there's a documentary on the website here. We're actually the only process communication model in the school using this tool from this tool from the ages of two to 18. And then the fifth pillar is sustainability. And how we do that is we have an um, education platform that teaches students how to conserve, repurpose, and recycle food, energy, and water. One of the things that we do each year is we compost over 10,000 pounds of waste. Um, we are an all plant-based school where we are taking approximately 750 pounds of carbon and 1,500 tons of CO2 per student per meal per day. Um, and students have a curriculum that's set around, the, around food, energy, and water at every class. And that's from 2 all the way through 18. Now, what the blueprint does is it says that these five pillars are equal. Academics are not more important than efficacy. Efficacy is not more important than communication. Um, passions are not more important than sustainability. They're all equal. And in that blueprint, it's a 12-page document that parents get twice a year. Um, starting at the fifth grade, they're student-led. And so the fifth grader said, this is my blueprint, and I'm taking you through this, mom, dad, or whoever's at the, at the conference. Accompanied with the blueprint is a culmination. And the culmination happens after the blueprint meeting with the parent where they now have to defend how they learned their academic content through their passion. And they can present that in any way. And if you're a parent at the school, 
you attend your culmination event, and your responsibility is not just to be with your student to learn how they learn their academic content and their efficacy and their communication skills and things like that. You go to every single uh, student in that classroom. And as a, so as a parent, you're a part of that community. Okay, so I lied to you. Um, I needed more than three minutes. I took four and a half minutes. I've got four minutes left. Does anyone have any questions? How did you, you get parents to know about your great school? How do we get parents to know about our, great, our, about our school? Yeah, the first time, um, I mean, when you launched the school, people to know, to be willing to have their kids in your school. You know, what's interesting, uh, well, probably our number one way that parents find out about our school is uh, word of mouth, but how the second uh, most popular way that uh, parents find out about our school is through Facebook.